Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on array interview question series and this video is about merging two sorted array without extra space or just in order of one space. So this is not the trivial array merging video where you have like two different arrays and you just merge them into a very big array. Yeah, no, this is not something like that. What we are trying to do is both are sorted and if they are not sorted, you can sort them. But here the question is they are sorted. So 1489, 2367. Now the point is your result should not be any third array. No, actually you have to make the arrangements in between these two array itself. So if your array one is this one, array two is this one, then your array one in the end should look something like this. And array two should look like this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, six seven eight nine so it's like you have to sort them like this how would you do that so as you can see we are not using any extra space this is what the question is so let's quickly understand this so we will have two pointers p1 and this is going to be your p2 and we'll check which one is greater among these two and which one is smaller so one is smaller here so this will stay at this position only we have to move this pointer p1 here okay now you will compare 4 with 2 now which one is smaller and remember this array will hold all the smaller whenever you will compare between these two array so 1 and 2 when you compare 1 was smaller that's why it stayed here now you will compare 4 with 2 but now you know that 2 should come here right so let's move these or to say we have to swap these values so 2 will come here and 4 will be here now after moving you see this is not a sorted array now you have to sort this array after this okay so let's do that actually if you will sort it 3 will come here and 4 will go here okay now this is sorted right and you will again move this pointer here and then you will compare this with this so we will swap these two values now swapped now you have to sort this as i said so if we will sort it it will be like this four six seven eight now you have to move this pointer here and you will compare with this guy is four smaller than nine yes it is you have to swap this again so four will come here and then nine will come here now after putting this nine here you have to sort this again so once you sort it, it will be like 6, 7, 8 and 9. That's it. So now you see, see 1, 2, 3 and 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you found the result, correct? It is very simple. You just have to compare P1 with P2. I mean P2 is always your first. So array of 0 is what your P2 is. Okay. But P1 will keep on incrementing till the end and why you have to compare this first element always just because this guy would be the guy who can potentially go to this array because this is a sorted array and this position will have the least or the smallest number in this array and we are collecting all the smallest at least greater values than this array into this array okay so all the smaller will come here all the later will come here now let's quickly talk about the time complexity here so for every number in this array we were rearranging into this array right so for every n if we call this n then for every n we had to do this rearrangement m times so the time complexity is order of n into m and there's very interesting algorithm for exactly this problem and that is actually proven to be a very fast algorithm let's see that so this is called a gap algorithm what is gap here let's understand that how many elements are there four how many elements are there in this array four so four plus four eight eight divided by two answer is four so you have to have comparison with four gap what i mean is this is how your arrays are looking like now you will have window of 4 right so first and then gap with 4 elements so this is the fourth element gap you will compare these two 
and you have to keep this one less than this one it is obvious right you have to place this one as a lesser than this right so now you compare one with two is this location let's say if i am telling this location is like p1 and p2 is this location p1 should be less than p2 is this true yes it is then what you will do you will move your window ahead and then you will check three which is p2 and p1 are they following this less than condition no actually then in that case you have to swap them let's quickly swap them after swapping they are looking like this now you go ahead and move your window now is this following this less than condition no then you have to swap these two also so six will come here and seven will come here and then you have to move your window here and here and then you have to check eight is less than nine yes it is then it is fine and you can see that you have hit the boundary so now you have to take this four and divide by two again so now window is going to be apart from each other with two difference so let's do that so now first window is obviously going to be this and second window is going to be this now you have to compare p1 should be less than p2 is this following yes move the window now these are two are the windows yes this is following that condition move the window now your window will come here and here six is less than two no then you have to swap it let's do that two will come here and six will come here then let's move the window so now your window will come here eight and this is going to be here at four so four is less than eight no it is not then you have to move this four here let's do that so now after moving that window will come here six is less than seven yes it is cool then we'll move the window further ahead eight and nine eight is less than nine yes it is fine then we'll hit the end now the moment we hit the end we will divide two because before we were using two window right so now it will be one so now we have to take window difference as one now you have to compare one is less than three yes no problem now you have to compare three with two is this correct no then you have to make the correct arrangement you have to swap two with three and then you will move the window now you'll compare three with four are they in a correct position meaning this one is less than this one yes then you will move the window you will compare these two now four is less than six yes it is correct you will move the window six is less than eight yes it is correct you will move the window now you will compare eight with seven are they in perfect order no p1 is should be less than p2 but here p1 is greater than p2 so we have to swap them so this time eight will come here and we will have seven here now you will compare these two 8 is less than 9 yes it is correct and then you will hit again this and this time you will try to divide 1 with 2 the answer will be 0 now you can see that everything is sorted here this is really very good algorithm now let's quickly talk about the algorithms complexity see as we were dividing this into half like always this n was getting half 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 so the number of this operations how many times we will do log base to n for these many time we have to iterate over n right so into n so basically you are saying here complexity is n log n that's it good learning right yeah so if you learn something don't forget to hit the like button guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care